you can play a song by Paramore called Ain't It Fun and it is fun and we're, and we're going to end up capoing this on fourth fret to match the recording but we're going to kind of work it out and, and reposition and on the intro actually you hear this cool little little lick actually that kind of goes through the song where you can play a second fret on the D string a third fret on the A string and then open G to second fret on the G string so it's kind of a 2 3 0 oh, 2 2 3 0 oh, 2 or a E C G A E C G back that up with a C major chord. Let me play C major. First finger goes the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string, third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the first finger and making that a C major 7. Or you could take the pinky and add it in on the B string third for a C major 9. Or you may want to think about using a different C major 9, where you do first finger on the D second, Second finger on the A string, third. Third finger on the B string, third. Pinky on the high E string, third. It's kind of a C major too. So you want to think about that too. Or if you want to make it really heavy on that intro, you could use a C5 power chord, where you do first finger on the A string, third. Third finger on the D string, fifth. Kind of work that. And you may want to just do kind of a down build up actually on that intro. Actually, da, 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 around that lick. And you could kind of add some beauty. I'm just kind of thinking eight downs on the chord. One, two, three. for a 4-4 four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, down, up. for myself what feels really good is something called a 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot of the beat right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down down up up down up so one two one two and that's called an eighth note what a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts one two three four one two three four and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down 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 up up down down up down up and what I mean by that is if you take the C and do a down for four one two three four one two that's what you do on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, fours. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. So all together, you got down. intro we go into our verse progression we start on an F major chord and we'll talk about an easy way to play this but if you know the bar F you do your first finger across the entire first fret second finger on the G second third finger on the A third pinky on the D third kind of work that for your F major sounds really really happy um, or if you're just starting out a good substitute for that is an F major seven where you do first finger on the B string first fret second finger on the G string second fret and third finger on the D string third fret and if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major sound. It sounds really groovy happy. Or if you're digging on the power chord idea, you have a really heavy sound. You could do first finger on the low E string, first fret. Third finger on the A string, third fret for kind of an F5 power chord. Or randomly, if you're digging on that other C major non-voicing, you may want to think about an F major 13. Where you do first finger on the G string, second. Second finger on the D third. Third finger on the B third. Pinky on the high E third. Now we're a D, G, B, B for kind of an F major 13. And then from the F, we go to an A minor chord. We play A minor. First finger goes to the B first fret. Second finger on the D second fret. Third finger on the G second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord. This sounds really sad. Now, round A's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, make that an A suspended second. Where you can add in the pinky on the B third, making an A sus, and kind of say some things around A minor chords. 
or you could lift off the third finger and make it an A minor 7. Or add in the pinky on the high E third, make it an A minor 7. Or if you're digging on that other C major dog voice, you may want to think about an A7 sus, where you do first finger on the D second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third for an A. So that might be kind of a cool option too. And it's kind of cool actually, through, through the first verse, it, it sounds like we kind of do our F major, and then our A minor, and then our F major, and then we kind of split an A minor C chord. And that idea kind of gets expanded into our, our chorus and our second verse. And on that part, if you're doing the strumming actually on, on the A minor, you may want to do just four downs and kind of C with the four downs for the halving idea. So you have kind of that F, A minor, A minor C F A minor F A minor C Or if you're digging on the down, down, up, up, down, up when you get to that spot, you can do a down, down, up on, on the A minor C. Or you can even take the pattern and split it. Kind of an A minor with a down, down, and then C for the up, up, down. So if we tried it that way, we'd have an F. between the A minor C change too and make it a down, down, down up on each of those chords. A minor, C, or if you're a little bit more adventurous, you can split the pattern between them and have A minor with a down, 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 up, and then C for the up, down, down, up, down. So if you try it that way, you'd have an A. part and you'll hear where a G major chord kind of creeps into the mix there and it's almost like we start on the F on our bridge and then we go to a C major and then we go to a G major chord and the way we play G major first finger goes to the A second fret second finger on the low E string third fret third finger on the high E string third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds a G major chord that sounds really really happy now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B third pinky on the high E third for the G major or if you're digging on the power chords, you can do first finger on the low E third, third finger on the A string, fifth for G5. And it's almost like we're doing that halving idea, kind of that F, C, G, F, C, G at the top of our bridge. But then we kind of mix that up with what kind of becomes our chorus, where we just do a lot of that A minor C halving. almost a stop time kind of idea where you may want to really kind of do the downs on the C's and then we go to F's and then we clap a little bit. But the weird part is to play along with Paramore instead of starting on a C major chord, they're starting on an E major chord. So to play along with the recording what you want to do is take a capo and if you put the capo on 4th fret then now your C is really an E major and your F is really an A major and your A minor is really a C sharp minor and the G major is really a B major. But you may want to kick it off with kind of that lick, kind of that two, three, oh, two, two, three, oh, two, two, three, oh, two, two, three, oh, two, two, three, oh, two. Or you could work the strumming around the C, kind of that down idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or you may be thinking on the down, down, up, up, down, up idea. So, or you may be thinking on the 16th. So, and actually, all those can be kind of cool to switch between you through the two, two. And then from there, there first verse. And you may want to kind of think about the power chords actually, that could be very cool too. You can take all these ideas and mix them up, but and oh, and then the A, you could do an A5 power chord. That could be cool, like just the open A with the second fret on the D string. It could be kind of cool. And then we go back to the F, A5, C5, F, A,
strings. Or if you're doing the 16th, maybe it's down, 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 and kind of kill the strings to lead into our chorus part. And so we kind of can take those same ideas and mix them up. So now we kind of half the A minor C every time. It's kind of A minor. verse idea. Now one other thing I think about adding the song those bass notes, a lot of times on the first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, we keep adding the bass note for the chord. So on the C you'd have the A for the bass, on the G you'd have low E for the bass, on the A minor you'd have A for the bass, and on the F you'd have low E for the bass for the bar, and the E string for the F major. So we tried that next verse idea, it's just like our chorus actually. If we tried adding bass, down, up, up, down, up, we'd have F. Minor and the C with a bass down. F down, up, down, A minor with the A bass, C with the A bass, F. Or you could split A minor with the A bass, down, C on the up, down, up, F. A minor, C up, up, down, up. Or if you're digging on the 16th, you could work it as a bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, or bass, bass, down. And when you get that A minor C, you may want to do just a bass down, down up on those chords. Or what can be really cool is to take the A minor and do a bass down, down, up, hit the C for the up, bass, down, up, down. So A minor the bass, down, down, C on the up, the bass, down, up, down, A minor, C. So we try it that way. You have that. second chorus. Then we back to our F, A minor, C, F, A minor, C, F, A minor, C, F, A minor, C, F. And then from there, they'll be going into our bridge part, kind of mixing up a lot of those things we've been talking about. So you got the F, Good luck.